All right, guys, it's preview time, and today, Jess, your first appearance on Crosshairs. Yeah. Welcome to the set. Thank you very much. And you had a chance to, to see one of the, the games that a few people are looking forward to mm -hmm. later this year, Darksiders 2. Yeah, yeah. It Tell us what you saw. very interesting to get into it. Um, what they did was set us up at about level 10, where you would have been playing the game for a few hours, so we didn't really get to do all the tutorials and stuff, which they pointed out might be a little bit of a problem. Uh, but it was it was great to get into the world. I mean, I think that's one of the real strengths of this game is that the world is incredible. I mean, it's beautiful. Yeah. What they've set up with Death and his whole place. I mean, we were in an area called the Foundry, which is basically like this huge industrial zone. You've got lava, you've got, you know, all your enemies and everything. And it's really impressive what they've done with it so far. Uh, there were a couple of things which were maybe uh, less on the impressive side. The combat is great to start with, it's, it's really fun with the hack and slash, but it does tend to get a little uh, breezy, I guess. I mean, we were just playing on about normal, but once you've <laughs> knocked down your 50 second little creeper dude, it's like, okay, like, where are we going now? Yeah. Yeah. So you mentioned level 10, which is mm -hmm. interesting because the, the first game didn't really have a progression system at all. Yeah. It was just go and in kind of Zelda style, have a new item every now and again, uh, find a new area, and then just kind of came to a natural close. Did you manage to level it up level up during your demo? Yeah, actually, one of the really good things they did for us when we went in was they would got us all the skill points and stuff so then we could allocate them when we went in. Yep. So you've got your uh, couple of leveling fields, you can go into the more combat side or you can go into the power side, which is the necromancer. So they're, they're just like trees? Yeah, basically trees. So then you can level those up as you go along and decide what you want to specialize in and stuff like that. And uh, that really touches on one of the really interesting things with this game is that it's really not your typical action adventure. There's um, a fairly complex inventory system, which I found really interesting. Uh, Interesting, but also a little jarring mm. for an action adventure. All action adventures I've played before, even uh, you know, this game gets compared to Legend of Zelda a lot, and that was a very simple inventory, so it didn't really um, mess with the flow of the game. Whereas this one, you've got uh, your items have stats, so you actually need to spend quite a lot of time going through your inventory and figuring out you know, what uh, braces you want to wear and what armor you want to wear and swords yep. and stuff like that. Uh, which is a little weird, like to go from the really fast paced, you know, running along walls and traversing the terrain to then having to spend a decent five minutes in your inventory figuring Stop out exactly what you want items. and, you know, running around after your massive battle against, you know, 50 odd dudes to then, you know, pick up those gloves and pick up that sword. Mm. It, it just, it seems to uh, jar against the progress of the classical action adventure. Yeah, pacing sounds like it. it might be a little difficult at the moment. Yeah. Hopefully that's something that because you came in at uh, you know a few levels on, uh, yeah. a couple of hours in, that's something that you're gradually introduced to rather than just kind of plonked in your lap. Yeah, I'd say so. I think another one of the things we sort of missed out on, which um, was a little disappointing, is being able to see that introduction into death yeah. and his story and you know where we've come from Darksiders 1 into Darksiders 2. Because to me, especially seeing you know all the teasers and trailers and stuff that's been coming up before I actually got a chance to play it, that's what's really interesting. And death is a really interesting character. Personally, I find him more appealing than war and you can definitely see in the way he's played, you do get that really agile, like, you know, he, he's a little, he's a little sucky he's a little sour he's everything you'd expect from death and uh, because we were thrown into I guess they really wanted to expose us to the action of the game yeah. we really missed out on being orientated in the sense of the narrative which was unfortunate now one of the things I love the most about the first game was the, the puzzling uh, is is it still there is it does it feel uh, like war did. The puzzling's a pity because for the first 10-15 minutes the puzzling is great. It seems like they've done a lot of really different things and then when I got to about the one and a half hour in mark it just felt like it's the same puzzles again and again and again. You're in a different area but it's like you're going through the same sequence of the same things. I mean I don't know what you found when you were watching through the game being played if it was a similar sort of thing. Uh, well, we saw some puzzles last time I saw the game, mm. but uh, it wasn't playable, unfortunately. You were the yeah. one that got your, your hands on it. Yeah. Uh, speaking of which, controls, you know, how did it feel in the hand? The controls are a bit of a fumbly thing for me. Um, there was a lot of criticism on the first game that the controls were really fumbly, and unfortunately I found a lot of similar things with the second game. It'd be the sort of thing where you're 
trying to get death to jump up on something or jump to the next ledge and you can't quite tilt the camera the right way so he doesn't know where he's supposed to go mm -hmm. and yeah I found myself stuck in several areas for like I don't know a couple of minutes at a time because I couldn't get there. Well, as always, you know, it's a work in progress mm -hmm. and the game isn't out until June 26 on the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3 and the PC. So they've got a little bit more time to, yeah. to tweak the formula. <laughs> You'll be able to check out more about Darksiders 2 on GameSpot.com.